The 2023 NASCAR season concluded last weekend at Phoenix. Three new champions were crowned, a celebratory moment for the sport. But it's NASCAR, so naturally, there was controversy. The truck series started the weekend on a bad note with an incorrectly marked restart zone. Unfortunately, that was just the beginning. The truck race concluded with an embarrassing ending that was universally criticized by fans, drivers, and even top NASCAR officials. Interestingly, those same officials would come under fire a few days later for what allegedly happened in the Cup Series Championship 4 race. According to a popular podcast, the governing body intervened and instructed Ross Chastain not to race eventual champion Ryan Blaney so hard. Pretty weighty accusations. NASCAR has responded. Everyone, including fans, drivers, and teams, had been looking forward to this final weekend since the start of the 2023 season. It's what everyone works towards starting at Daytona. NASCAR officials were also looking forward to it and had been preparing for the season finale races at Phoenix for all three national touring series for weeks. All that preparation and incredibly, they forgot to correct the restart zone. If you'll recall, before the start of the season, NASCAR announced it was extending the restart zone on a trial basis. It would last for five races and then they would reevaluate. After the trial run was over, NASCAR took the feedback from the drivers and agreed to return to the dimensions used in 2022. That meant officials at four of the five tracks, Daytona, Las Vegas, Phoenix, and Atlanta, would have to repaint their restart zones for the second trips to those respective venues. It's one thing for it not to happen. It's something altogether different for it not to get caught in time. But that's exactly what happened at Phoenix, as NASCAR officials didn't recognize the incorrect dimensions were in place until it was too late to change it before the truck series race. The restart zone was then adjusted before the Xfinity and Cup races. NASCAR Senior Vice President of Competition Elton Sawyer addressed the blunder this week on Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. Long story short, it, it's on me and my team to make sure this never happens again. Uh, and we will. We'll go through how we got there, what we need to do to fix it, and, and why it won't happen again. But that kind of gives the, their viewers, a, again, a 20,000-foot view of, of why it was that way um, on Friday night. So overnight, we corrected that. Uh, the restart zone for Saturday's Xfinity race and Sunday's uh, Cup Series race was the location was exactly where it was in 2022 championship weekend. The pre-race gaffe by NASCAR was bad. The racing was even worse, and NASCAR, unsurprisingly, had a hand in it. Carson Hosevar started the insanity by moving Corey Heim late in the race and then acting like it was a mistake a mistake he's made all too many times, as Dell Jr. has noted several times in the last few weeks. But the situation was made worse later when Heim retaliated with three laps to go, running Hosevar into the wall. That caution effectively ended what was an all-but-certain championship for Grant Emfinger. NASCAR only added to the ugliness when it completely ignored the obvious retaliation by Heim during the race. Instead, it waited days later to find the Tricon Garage driver and dock him points. That'll teach him. Saturday's Xfinity Series championship race was, surprise, surprise, controversy-free. That takes us to Sunday's Cup Series race. As we all know, Ryan Blaney won his first-ever championship. But there was also another first. Ross Chastain became the first non-title contending driver to win the race in the 10 years of this current playoff format. Chastain was the best car and led a race-high 157 laps, but it didn't come easy. Blaney tried unsuccessfully to clear the trackhouse car on numerous occasions. The Team Penske driver was visibly frustrated by those repeated failed attempts. At one point, he aggressively drove straight into the rear of the number one car, sending it up the track. It still didn't help as Chastain held him off and maintained the lead, which he would until the checkered flag waved. This week on the Door Bumper Clear podcast, co-host and part-time spotter Brett Griffin talked about that moment when Blaney drove his number 12 car into the rear of the number one, 
and described what happened after that, a questionable interaction between a NASCAR official and Chastain's team that is concerning to say the least. So when Blaney hit Ross Chastain, Ross Chastain's spotter was fussed at by a NASCAR official. Really? Yes. The, the official went down there and said, what are you doing? And the guy's like, what am I doing? I'm trying to win a race, right? But he didn't want Ross Chastain to be, I don't know, racing, I guess, Blaney that hard. Because why? Here comes, here comes Truex in the picture. Like, they didn't want another shisho on their hands. Not race him hard? There have always been unsubstantiated rumors that NASCAR wants the Final Four championship contending drivers battling up front at the end of the race. That adds to the excitement, and that's what's always happened in the past. Chastain was threatening to upend that storybook finish. But anybody who has listened to the DBC podcast knows that the various co-hosts can sometimes exaggerate. You know, don't let the truth get in the way of a good story. Could what Griffin said actually be true? According to NASCAR, no. Mike Ford, who works in communications for NASCAR, offered an explanation of what happened on X. Not true, he wrote. The official saw the spotters of the 1 and 2 getting heated during the battle for the lead. He spoke with both spotters to de-escalate any unnecessary confrontations. Calm down. At no point did he tell the number one spotter to tell Chastain to move over or not race hard. Does that make sense? Yeah, it actually does. However, that being said, it also makes sense for fans, drivers, spotters, and anyone else to question NASCAR about its decisions from top to bottom, including officials overseeing the spotter stand, the botched restart zone, and not doing anything at the end of the crazy truck series race are all the evidence you need.